So today we will find the six trigonometric ratios for 30 degree angle and 60 degree angle. So first of all, let's draw one equilateral triangle ABC. So suppose this is the equilateral triangle ABC with each side of length 2A. We know that an equilateral triangle each angle is 60 degree. So here each angle is 60 degree. If I will draw a perpendicular from A on BC, this 60 degree is divided into two parts. So this will be 30 and this will be 30 degree. Now the total length is 2A. So BD will be half of 2A that is A. The total length from B to C is 2A. Right, so BD will be A. By 90 degree angle, so hypotenuse is always in front of 90 degree angle. So this is my hypotenuse. My perpendicular is always in front of the considered angle. We have considered 30 degree angle. So this will be my perpendicular. And the side adjacent to 30 degree angle will be my base. So this is my base. So now I don't know what is the value of base. So what I will do a triangle ABD AB square is equal to BD square plus AD square. Value of AB is 2A. So 2A square value of BD is A. A square plus AD square. So AD square is 4A square and this A square will go to the left side. It will become minus A square. So it will be 3A square. So your AD will be root 3A. The length of the side AD, that is your base, will be root 3A. We are considering only triangle ABD. We are not considering this part of the triangle. So now if I want to find the value of 6 trigonometric ratios, let's start with sine 30. So I know what is sine. Sine is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So here the perpendicular is A and hypotenuse is 2A. So value of sine 30 is half. Now we will find value of cos 30. So cos 30. Cos is what is cos? Cos is base upon hypotenuse. So here I will write base upon hypotenuse. So what is base? Base is root 3a and hypotenuse is 2a. So value of cos 30 is root 3 by 2. Now let's find the value of 10 30. So, do you know what is the relationship between tan, sine and cos? Tan is equal to sine upon cos. So, I can write tan 30 is sine 30 upon cos 30. So, value of sine 30 is half and value of cos 30 is root 3 upon 2. So, Value of 10, 30 is 1 upon root 3. Now, let's see what is the value of cosec 30. So, do you know what is the relationship between cosec and sine? Cosec and sine are just reverse of each other. So, cosec 30 will be equal to 1 upon sine 30. So since sine 30 is 1 upon 2, so your cosec 30 will be just reverse of it. So
so it will be 2 by 1 or I can simply write it as 2. Now what is the value of set 30? So do you know what is the relationship between set and cos? Set and cos are also just reverse of each other. So set 30 is 1 upon cos 30. So if cos 30 is root 3 upon 2, your set 30 will be 2 upon root 3. 2 upon root 3. And lastly, and lastly, you, uh, it is cot. So, your cot 30 will be just reverse of tan 30. So, cot 30 will be just reverse of tan 30. So, if tan 30 is 1 upon root 3, so its reverse will be root 3 upon 1 or I can write it as root 3. So, now what we will do, we will now find the 6 trigonometric ratio for 60 degree angle. So now we will find the 6 trigonometric ratios for 60 degree angle. So what we will again do, we will not consider this part of the triangle. So since we are considering theta as 60 degree, the side opposite to 60 degree will be of perpendicular. The side opposite to 90 degree is your hypotenuse. And the side adjacent to 60 degree is your base. So your base is A, your perpendicular is root 3A and your hypotenuse is 2A. Now let's find what is the value of sine 60. So sine is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So your perpendicular is root 3A and your hypotenuse is 2A. So your value of sine 60 is root 3 upon 2. Now let's find value of cos 60. So do you know what is the formula for cos? Cos is base upon hypotenuse. So you have to memorize this. Cos is base upon hypotenuse. So what is the value of base? Base is A and hypotenuse is 2A. So cos 60 is half. Now let's find value of tan 60. So, the relationship between tan sine and cos is tan 60 is sine 60 upon cos 60. So, your sine 60 is root 3 upon 2 and your cos 60 is 1 upon 2. So, value of tan 60 is just root 3. Value of tan 60 is just root 3 upon 1 or root 3. Right? Now, the next one is cosec 60. So, cosec is just reverse of sine. Cosec is just reverse of sine. So, if sine 60 is root 3 upon 2, the reverse will be 2 upon root 3. Next is Sec 60. So your sec 60. So sec is just reverse of cos. So if value of cos 60 is 1 upon 2, sec 60 will be 2 upon 1. And lastly, what is the value of cot 60? So your cot is just reverse of tan. So, if tan 60 is root 3 upon 1, so its reverse will be 1 upon root 3. So, these are the 6 trigonometric ratios for 60 degree angle. So, in today's class, we have seen how to find the 6 trigonometric ratios for 30 degree angle and 60 degree angle. 
In the next class, we will see how to find the six trigonometric ratios for 0 degree and 90 degree angles.